Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. So I have a project that I kind of want to do a little bit of a mass make. We'll see how that goes. Uh, let's say hi and hugs first to Patty, Joan, Susan, and Julie. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Yeah, so what we're going to do today is uh, full page pockets because I have this little bin that I've kept my full page pockets in and I only have a few that are done, like just very few, <laughs> like maybe four. Um, oh, what is this? Oh, okay, that's like to go over a page, I think. Anyway, I have some bases uh, made, but um, want to do some more. Want to use my scraps in that way. So let's get onto it. This one, oh, and this one. These are both gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to do both of those. So um, I like them to be five by seven, and I'll show you on a page here just in just a second. Um, let's do this one first. So, uh, that way, let me move that. <laughs> Give myself some working room here. I can get rid of that. That's from the last video. Don't need that. Probably going to need my other glue, though. Don't need that. Okay. I think I'm situated. Let me move my distress ink. I think I'll probably need it, but not right now. So, I want this picture because, honestly, if I, okay, so five by seven, I'm going to go, I'm going to do it the five way first. Um, I try to, you know, make as big a scraps as I can, if that makes sense, because, like, if I would have cut the top off, it would have just been a strip, and it would have taken a bit off of this so just fyi that's how i do it as i try to leave as big a bit left as i can so there's that how beautiful is that just on its own even gosh that's pretty okay so that five by seven that's what i wanted to show you see how that's gonna go ahead and cover a page nearly completely so, um, so what I think I'll do is pop a little thumb hole in that about midway and, um, whoopsie, I don't really think this needs much else. Maybe like a little label or something. I could do some lace across the bottom. I don't know, but I'm just going to make some bases uh, for the kind of the first half of the video and then and then we'll decorate as we go so I'm just going to pop those into that bin so there's one and I just wanted to show you how nice they look okay so this one I'm thinking same thing with that house that um so I'm going to go seven this way and have this nice big piece of paper left. So, gosh, how wide is that? That's nearly five. That could almost be one on its own, too. Anyway, and then go five this way. And that's, that's really pretty, too. Um, don't quite know... I think I'll, I think I might put the, the hole up here, which is a little different, but that way, um, I'm not like cutting into those flowers or anything. And I'm thinking this could use like a label or something up in that corner, maybe a cluster, who knows, maybe a cluster. And so anyways, we'll figure that out when we're decorating. Okay, so there's those two pieces. Now this is, it's like 
an eighth less than five, which is fine. Seven would be right there. I'm gonna do this one too, because, you know, kind of why not? Um, I feel like it needs to go that way. So, could be on the other side of a page. You know, like, generally I was putting a hole here, but this one could go on this side of the page with hole there. So that's what I'm gonna do with that one. Might as well leave this out, I guess. I'm gonna need it, aren't I? Okay, well there's, there's three that we just knocked out like that because they have such a, such a pretty pattern and it's really the pattern that I wanted. So, um, so there's that, but uh, we'll do some decorating and some different things on, on others. Okay, so now I have all these scraps. That could be a cute tag. Anyway, I'm gonna put those with my purple stuff. Um, then I wanted to look in this scrap thing and see what I've got in here. I don't have a lot that are the right size. This one, that one could be a couple of them. And what else do I have? Maybe that one. Oh, that's just parchment paper. Okay. So let's look at this. I'm thinking we could go this way and get several. So how wide is it this way? Yeah, there's going to be a strip. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and do this at seven. Like that. And this is just one of those ones that's the cover, or the, maybe this is the back cover of a pad of paper, but this side's decorative, so we can go ahead and make a couple out of this one. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna turn this way because there's more pattern there than there is in the middle, so do that. Okay, we just have a couple little strips left. Throw those back in. So we're kind of done with that folder as far as what will work. Oh, then there's this one. Um, five. I don't want to cut off the butterflies and moths, but How wide is this? This is eight. I'm gonna go seven this way, I'm gonna go five that way. So if it's eight, three inches, so one and a half on each side. I'm gonna try that. One and a half there. And one and a half this way. Should put me at five, which it does. And then I'll take a little off the bottom to make it seven. Okay. So this one I have an idea with. I'm gonna just set that aside for now. Okay, I have got some kind of like forgotten friends behind me. They're different paper pads. And I just want to see what I might have. Not really doing any pink right now, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what else we've got back here. 
I just kind of want to see if any of them would go with upcoming, upcoming, um, journals that I'm working on. Finish your sentence, Gail. Drives my husband crazy when I do that. I don't blame him. <laughs> I drive my own self crazy sometimes, too. These are um, different scrapbook collections that I have picked up at my retreat. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty yellow. Look at this. That could be pretty. Oh, no. I'm really doing yellow and blue, so... Um, but I think I'm going to do that one because why not? If I don't use it in the yellow and blue journal, I'll use it in a different journal, right? Okay, so we'll take, we'll do that one. Oh, this is purple, which is good. I am doing purple journals. I already kind of did some purple though. Just going to see if anything just pops out at me from this one. Haven't even used this one. So there's one that I see on the front that is it this one? Yeah. I was wondering about this. That'd be cool. Let's do that one. So this the, these couple I'm going to be making scraps instead of using scraps, aren't I? And then these are just Plain. What do you think of maybe some of that orange for the bee journal? Maybe. Once again, just going to quit hoarding. I'm just going to use this stuff. Yeah, that could be kind of neat. Okay, cool. Well, that's that batch. Go back. Um, and what else do I have back here from Holtzy? Oh, I have this one. Hey guys, I got this at that funky little store in Townsend. Look, there's a bee. I might use that bee one. Purples. There's another bee. Those two have bees. Isn't that pretty paper? I'd never seen it before. Ooh, those are pretty. Okay, I'm going to do these two with bees on them. These two patterns. Come on, come out. And this one, because again, it's very beautiful paper. I've never seen it before. I don't know if I can ever get it again, but what good does it do if it's sitting on my shelf? Okay, and then I got this one at the same place. I was just going to look at it. I feel like it's, I don't see anything that says, oh, this would be a great project for it. So let's just, we'll leave that one. It's a long time till fall. <laughs> okay. Um, this one, excuse me. So sorry, guys. Goodness sakes. Okay, so I think I'm going to cut it the five inch way first. Yeah, because that's going to leave the B. Okay, ooh, that's very fun scrap. Okay, now seven. I can't be cutting off my B. So we got to figure out the best way, this way's better, to keep the bee. 
Yeah, there's that little guy. Okay, so there's that one. This one, same thing. So if I go five, will I? Yep. And he just is barely going to be in the in the picture, but that's okay. Okay, that. And we'll just measure and see. Seven that way is good. He's on there. Okay, and there's that one. Then this one also would be good for bees. Gotta take off the branding strip first. Printed, so we'll keep that. Okay. So, so let's go seven this way. And then we can get two out of this piece of paper. Seven. I really want to. It's so thick. Okay. And then we'll go this way five a couple times. And I'm going to use this side because it's got some interest. Okay. This one I was thinking would be, this part would be pretty. Okay, let's take off the branding strip because, again, it's colored. We can use it for something. Okay. Not pretty on that side. Okay, so let's go seven. Let's see where that's at. Right there. Okay, and five. I hope I don't cut off the whole butterfly. Ooh, I would cut off the butterfly in half. So, I'm going to actually go like this, and then I'm going to make it five inches here. Just cut off a little strip on the end there. Okay, that's what I wanted. <laughs> and then this one, this is the last one, and then we'll get to doing some decorating or whatever on them. Okay. What's this one look like on the other side? Oh, it's the sweetest. You're the sweetest. No, oh, you're the sweetest. I think I want this. So, cut it at seven here. fun on that side. Okay. I'm actually going to make two out of this one. Oh, not seven. Five, Gail. Don't talk and do things at the same time. <laughs> That's what you have to do when you're doing a video. Oh, that's why I mess up sometimes. Okay. And then let's do five this way. Be kind of fun. Okay. Okay, now we've got lots of bases to work with. Actually, I'll probably still need my cutter. Maybe we'll slide it over here. I'm just going to get rid of some. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? I could actually do a couple more on these, couldn't I? Okay, I'm just going to set that aside. Don't really need that. Um... Hmm. Wait a second. I might not be done yet. So how big is this? It's seven. So I could make a couple more. 
out of these. Why not, right? That's what we're, we're up to. And then we can see, we'll just see what journals these might go in. I'll just keep them in my little bin until I have a home for them. Okay, I'm gonna go five here. That might be good with a little B on it. It's a good, good colors. Okay. Okay, so all of our little scraps, I'll sort of sit to the side and yeah, we'll just set our cutter over here for now. Okay, so what I was thinking specifically, let's go to this one. I think this one would be good with a, a belly band. Did I not have a, oops, I thought I had a strip. Here it is. That'd be kind of nice with just a, a sideways belly band, wouldn't it? Okay, that's what we're going to do there. So I am going to need this five. Okay, I have just this little square. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's asking to be something, I think. Okay, this would be cute like that. Let's round the corners. Okay, this can go in my scraps now. And I've been looking forward to doing this project too. It's just, it's just really fun to, and, and it's so great to have these when you have like, if you have a digital that has a white back or if you just, you know, want something to be the focal point of the page, these are great. Okay, so what a little glue page and we're just gonna, Blew this guy down. Just glue along the edges and pop that down. I think I might I'm gonna cover up that pretty flower, but oh well. I liked kind of being able to see this. You can see the butterfly, so. So yeah, that'll be a good one. Let's see, let's get out the other one. So now this one essentially is done. I would probably put something right here, a little label or something. Um, but I think I might see which journal I use that in first. So it's ready, but not ready, you know? <laughs> okay, what else do we want to do? What's on the back of these? I'm wondering on this one, do I want to do some pockets like, like this one? That one is cute. Hmm. Or I could do a strip or what? What do I have to work with here? I do have do have this. I mean, we could do an up and down belly band. That's kind of nice. Yeah, let's do that. I think I might like some lace or something on that too, but and I might I think I'm going to leave the corners 
usually where I'm going to put something in here, I like those rounded, but what if I want to use it on the other page? Then I could round these and go this way too. So I think I'm going to leave that option open by not rounding yet. You can always do that right before you put it in the book. I don't think I have any orange lace. I don't have, I mean, I have some colored lace, but not, not as much as I do white and cream color, that's for sure. So, we'll just have to see what we have. Well, let's get the, get the belly band on there first. Then we might do this Tim Holtz one because I have a thought for it. Okay. I'm going to eyeball the middle somewhat. Okay, now let's look at lace. I was thinking there might be something in this basket that would, would work. I don't know that I need it to be that blingy, but it's a good size. Let's see what else is in here. Hmm. Oh, this one could be good, or this one. Let's see what we have left of those. I don't think I want that much bling. Maybe this one. It's not laying flat enough for me. Oh, that's pretty. Let's do that one. Okay, I need to even out my cuts here a little bit. Now you could just glue this at top and bottom and make it a double belly band, but it's a pretty fragile lace, so I think I'm gonna just lay it all the way down, I think. Um, again, hashtag little bits of lace, except this video is not about that, but you know. <laughs> My friend Corey Dahman's doing that little challenge and I'm doing mine my projects for that on the same day as Marguerite Miller and Roxy Creations when she starts doing that I think it goes this way um yeah she hasn't quite started I think this next week is when she's starting that so be getting on on board with that too okay well that's pretty i think that'll be nice on a page yeah you could add a little focal point there if you wanted you know depending on the digital you're using or whatever okie dokie let's i'll just lay that in the bin because it's done this is really making me happy because I was I was low. I was very low on okay, those are all inch and a half. The back isn't that exciting, but these would be sideways. I was thinking about doing little pockets across, but what about a double belly band? Would that be fun? Why not, right? Why not? Okay, I am going to cut these two at seven. Yeah, I haven't done one with two belly bands. That's a kind of a fun idea. And then this one.
see. Little crumbs, little bitty crumbs left on that one now. Oops, I'm putting this over here. I'm so used to putting it back down on the floor, I forgot. Okay, so we could just put that this way. Cool. I, you know, it's just so fun to me how, you know, just even, so the patterns, like if this was more interesting, I probably would have done pockets. But because it wasn't, it made me think of a whole different thing than I've done before. So fun. Okay, we'll get everything inked and then I'll just glue those down and that, that will be that. I don't know, maybe I could use this. Again, I'm going to leave the cutting of the corners until I decide where I'm going to use it. Um, I mean, I could use this in the bug journal, but I don't know. Somebody, a couple of you actually pointed out that I have a lot of butterfly stuff that I could do a butterfly journal, which... Who knows? Might be in the, might be in the works too. Okay, I'm going to line that up on my mat. And I am going to go about three quarters of an inch like that. Okay. Okay, that'll be fun. See, and then you can put like a, a journal card or something that goes all the way through. Won't that be cute? Okay, there's another one. Another one done. And so, let's see, what else could we do? Oh, I wanted to do something with these cute little guys. So I don't want to cover up the bees, I know that. So a sideways belly band would work well, but what about, I have an idea, let's take this and instead of a belly band, let's make a side tuck right there. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> I am going to put a little hole here and I think what I'm going to do is put a hole and this as well. Okay. Like that. And this one I know is going to go this way because I don't want to cover up the bee. Okay, let's do this. doing this video right I, I did one this morning that was yesterday's Forgotten Friends Friday I'm doing this one right before we leave for Katie's game <laughs> and I still can't find her basketball button to put on my shirt still can't find it I don't know what I did with that I do know when I put it wherever I put it I thought to myself don't forget where this is But, but I did, did forget. So I checked the cars there. It's not in there. I have no idea what I did with it. 
Okay, so this one, little side tuck, you can put a little journal card just right in there. Okay, and again, if you wanted, you could put a little lace down that. Do I want to? I might want to. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, look, this is just about, yeah, let's, let's do that. That'd be cute. You guys, I'm using up all my lace ideas. <laughs> I'm using them all up before it's little bits of lace 2024. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, yeah, I think that just dresses that up just enough. I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because this wants to curl a little bit, so we'll just, we'll just make sure it's nice and down good. I didn't quite go in a straight line with the glue. So there is that. <laughs> okay, but that's a pretty little pocket. I love that. All right. All right. Let's see. What else do we have here? This one. Let's make this one go this way. And like that. And I think maybe it needs something down at the bottom. Brain's going through the sort of the inventory of possibilities in my head. Um, I wonder about. Hang on one second. I know that Carol Cuts Designs had some bigger things. Um. Maybe too big though. Yeah. I was kind of thinking of these, but they're a bit big. Okay. That's not going to work. Um, what does Deb from Artsology have that might? Might work. Ooh, it's a great size. I just feel like it's not, it's not quite the right colors. It's close. That's a possibility. Here's a plainer one. I do like that. Another possibility. <laughs> Let's see what else she has in this size of, you know, and course the colors have to kind of go together too. Oh that's pretty too. Uh oh. I'm liking too many of them. Let's see that is kind of a different style so I don't think so. Oh I love this one but it goes the wrong way. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's 
That's kind of cool. Okay, let's narrow it down, Gail. I'm going to say no on that one. I really like that one. I think it's that other one. Okay. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Excuse me. I just had to just had to take care of the nose. All right. So I think a little glue stick is in order on this. that one we are making some progress and we have time left okay we kind of decided let's see these two need like a label or something this one possibly does too just something right there I don't know let me see if Deb has anything that's kind of the right color this. Nope, too blends in too much. This one, that one too. Um, Okay, so what I like about this one is the black lines in the scrapbook paper. It kind of, I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Thanks, Deb. You're saving my bacon. Okay, I'm going to just kind of split the difference there. Okay, just a little something extra on that one. This one, we've got that area. Now, it's not quite the right purple, is it? Ooh, what about this? Oh my gosh, I kind of, it's just a little, the color's off. Hmm. Oh, here's some purple. That's not too bad. What about this one though? I think it's even a closer purple. That's the one. Okie dokie. This one's on sticker paper. Okay. This is always scary. It's like, will I get it on straight? Pretty darn close. Okay, there's that one. Then this one has this area, kind of. Um, got some words here. I do think that little cottage is kind of magical. But you know what? I feel like it just needs a little, like a little bit of lace or something. Got 
a slice. Yep. Okay, so. it's so hard to tell I think it's this way but I really kind of want it to go this way so I'm going to <laughs> and if it's that hard to tell nobody's going to know except for you and me okay um Try so hard not to get glue on my mat, and I still do. I still just do it. Okay, there we go with that one, except that I noticed we've decided which way this is opening and I haven't curved these and I just kind of like them curved. Okay, so there's that little one. Oh man, we are just cooking. Okay, these, goodness, they need a lot, so... But do I have any, look, yes, I might have. I was wondering if I had anything that would go with them. What if we use one of these pretty birds and make like a double pocket? That'd be nice. like jiggity jaggedy so let's see this is airing on scrappy saturday i think it's tomorrow that the university of montana plays for the championship the football team so we'll be watching that, no doubt. It'll be fun. It's kind of fun now that we have a grandson going to school there. It's like extra sort of, we're extra, in, you know, invested or whatever. Okay, I think this one, I am going to make it go, I'm going to make it go that way. I think I'm going to use this one because I like where the flowers are more. Okay. Gosh, you guys, I feel so accomplished. We've gotten a lot done. Now, whether or not these will go well in some of the journals that I have prepped in kits. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so put that like that. So I do think I'll just do a real shallow thumb hole. We'll just glue this on three sides. For people new to my channel, just a little gluing hint. I always hang on to the side that I'm not 
that I don't want glued. Like that's going to be the opening to the pocket. I'm actually going to put that down a little bit so you see more of that flower. Okay. I feel like I could use something in that corner. Let's see if Deb can help us out. Where you go, Deb? You right there. Okay. There's like this little, but that, there it is. Cause I don't want to cover up the entrance into the pocket, right? Okay. I'm gonna have to go pull myself together to get on the road here pretty soon. Okay, there's that little one. So it's a, a pocket there and a pocket behind. Ooh, I like that. I wonder, wonder if I should do this flower one that way too. I think I will. Why not, right? And then this one could actually go into one of the pockets. Now this one will have open the other way because the flowers are up in that corner. Okay. Then the ones that I don't get done, I'll just put to the back of my, um, of my bin there. And then if it comes up that I need one, I can look in there and see if I have a paper that will work and create it as I'm creating the journal too. But as you know, I like having things done ahead. Oh, I forgot to do a thumb hole, didn't I? Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Just going to go kind of shallow again. Okay, so that will go there, and I won't glue this side. Okay, again, I'm going to go down a little bit so that blue shows. And I'll let that dry a little bit. Let's cut this out. It's good writing on the back of this, too. So, these are not my fussy cutting scissors. <laughs> I feel a little awkward with them. What I'm thinking, see, is that this can go behind there as the, as the journal card. And we've used up that scrap. So we have to, used some scraps today. We made a, quite a few too, but <laughs> oh well. It's an ongoing process, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I'd freak out if I didn't have any scraps to work with, so... It's all good. Okay. So that's going to go behind there on the page. 
like that. Cute. Okay. So I'd like something for there again. Deb. <laughs> no, Deb. Let's see. What's this? Oh, that's a that's a big one. I think that's too big. Yeah, that's too big. Well, yeah, too big. Let's see. What else? Ooh, there's a blue. Perfect. Awesome, awesome. So I think we will finish this up. We'll take a look at what we've done. And I'll go get myself ready to hop in the car. Okay. I have to collect my garbage too. My husband will be on my case if I don't. Okay. So, so there is the whole little set right there. That's awesome. Okay, guys. So let me put Deb away. <laughs> She's like, woo! <laughs> there I go. <laughs> on the shelf behind. Okay. All right. So tidy up a skosh. So all of these that we cut, they're all going to go back here. Like I would, I would like to finish the, the B ones. I had thought of those for the B's for the B two. So those will go behind and we did this one. That one, it's even got the little card to go behind. We have this one that goes the other direction. We have this one, which is the cute little cottage. This one that does have a bee on it. Um, this one. This one, I really like that one. I, I like them all, I like them all. This one's good. Got to be on it too. This one, the little double belly band. That's kind of a fun little twist. And then we have this one with the lace. And this one with the sideways belly band. So there you have it. A bunch of full page pockets for Scrappy Saturday. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.